Morning. I'm here with Andy. Morning. And Billy Bob, of course. And we're at Cogra Moss, which is a lovely little private fishing lake. Lake. Yes, a lake. A lake. Um, and we're going to head up onto Blake Fell from Cogra Moss. It's a nice little circular. You head around the lovely Cogra Moss, and then you have a head up onto Sharp Knot, and then onto Blake Fell. And you go around onto high pen and low pen. It's about a five and a half mile circular route. You can incorporate um, burn banks if you so wished and gavel fell. You could just do like a linear to burn banks and then back. And same with gavel fell. So you could get all three done in the same route. And that would probably be about seven miles, something like that. But um, I'm just going to do Blake Fell today. So I hope you enjoy us and our wee adventure. So there's a glimpse of Cobra Moss. You'll see Sharp Knot on the left, heading up onto Blake Bell. So Cobra Moss really is a hidden gem. It's nestled amongst uh, Blake Fell and you've got um, forestry surrounding it. There's a few paths you can do from around Cobra Moss. So it's very popular with local dog walkers. As I say, it is a private fishing lake, but you can have public access around it. There's some seats around Cogra Moss. You can sit and have a coffee and you have the fishermen in the lake. So dogs really have to be under control and not really splashing about in the lake, disturbing the fish. But there's a low level route around Cogra Moss, about three miles. There's a slightly higher one where you get good views down to it, which is about a five mile route. As I say, you can head up onto Blake Fell as well. So there's various options. You park at Fell Dyke, and there's room for about 10 cars, free parking. Or you can park further up the road, on the Ennardale Road, um, and some laybys where you park a bit higher up and you can access Cogra Moss um, from there as well. But I'll mention that in map time, show you the spots where you can park. Um, I'll also put on a GPX route that we do today, a track from today, to show you where Fell Dyke is, where you can park there. So I'm just going to pan you around and show you the beautiful Cogra Moss. Isn't that stunning? number of little islands for the fishermen to use. We were watching a fisherman just off here and it wasn't long before he actually caught a fish. There is a really good track around most of the lake for you to enjoy and it's a really lovely location nestled amongst Knockmerton and Blake Fell. So you can see our route where you head up onto Sharp Knot on the left, Blake Fell in the middle and you head along the horseshoe over to High Pen and Low Pen there 
and you come down in that coal there, down the donkey trod, back down to Cogra Moss. So once you head round Cogra Moss, the actual uh, well-made path runs out and you just keep to the fence line straight on and you leave Cogra Moss and you're aiming for a forest track which this will pop out onto. Just heading for that stand of trees there. Following the fence line. Just looking back to Cogra Moss and that's Knock Merton in the distance there. So it brings you out onto this forest track and you want to turn left, just following the obvious track up the hill. And keep on this for a bit. And this track eventually will wind itself around the back of Sharp Knot. So there's Sharp Knot. Heading around the back a bit now on this really good track. Forest Road. Forest Road. This wasn't here, what, three years ago? No. When they cut the trees down around Sharp Knot, they put this in. So, as you can see, but on the higher path here above Cobra Moss. This is actually part of the higher level route you can do just around Cogra Moss. We are going to turn off this path in a bit. Left is another forest track which goes around the back of Sharp Knot. So you get to this kind of rock face and take this path off left. So you have to come all the way to the end of this forest track and then you'll see at the end of the forest track there's a path heading up which looks quite steep onto Sharp Knot. You have to do this now because of the cut down plantation so onwards and upwards. Oh, that's steep start from the forest track heading up sharp knot it's eroded and steep oh. certainly makes the car spin Ooh. That's looking back to Burnbanks over there. We've got Alson Fell. That's private land going down Alson Fell, so you can't do that. And then in the background, you've got the Solway and Scotland, Criffle. You can see. The Galloway Hills, just. Sharp Knot Summit, it's a Burkitt. Oh, you get such a good view from here. You've got the coast, Scotland. Oh, the Solway, the Irish Sea. Cogwell Moss will be down there. Knock Merton. Yeah, let's get, let's get to the edge and you'll see Cogwell Moss. Bear with. There it is. Cogwell Moss. McMurton.
it's windy on these hills. It's actually a really good shelter, as Billy is demonstrating, on a sharp knot. <laughs> so we're just heading off sharp knot now, and we're heading over to Blake Fell. It's not too much more ascent. So Blake Fell Summit, 573 is it Andy? Yeah. 573 metres. You've got grass more behind. There's a bit of a shelter on here. Oh, you can see Fleetwood Pike, Buttermere, Melbreak. See Pillar. Got the Ennardale Fells over there in the distance. You can just see Ennardale peeking out there. Looking down to Cockrell Moss over there. The coast, Scotland, Carling Knot. You've got Lowe's Water down there. And you've got the start of Cromach Water there as well. So it's looking over to Carling Knot there on the left. Across the valley you've got Whiteside, Hope Girl Head, you've got Grassmoor, in the foreground you've got Melbrake, then you've got um, Fleetwood Pike with Buttermere, Hencoon, High Star Range, Pillar, and then you've got Gavel Fell there and you can just see High Pen far right hand corner there and the Ennardale hills behind. So we're heading in a southerly direction of Blake Fell following the fence line and we're aiming for um, there's a gate and a junction of fences where the gate is. The gate if you go through that will take you through Gav to Gavel Fell. We're not going to do that we're just going to stay on this side of the fence and head along like I said before high pen and low pen to your right, takes you back to Cogger Moss. So there's the gate I was talking about before that would take you to Gavel Fell. We're staying this side of the fence to head along the lovely ridge line. Ennardale down there and beyond Ennardale you've got Crag Fell and Crike. We're on low pen right now. That's the view over to Knock Merton. Cogra Moss.
heading off Low Pen now. And it's lovely this part of the path through the spruce trees. Up Merton is really steep, quite dramatic looking. Once you get to the bottom, you turn right, heading for the higher forest track. This is the higher track. Now we're going to head off left, down the donkey trod there. It's quite steeply down, back to Cobra Moss. I'll show you. down the fell side there. Now this is the higher path I was telling you about. I was here last week and did this with Billy Bob. You just follow along all the way, meandering through the trees, around that side, and it brings you back down to the path we were on before where we went up to Sharp Knot. Fantastic view from this donkey trod. So we're nearly down on the path at Cogra Moss. Look how blue that looks right now. There we are. Well, there's the track that goes around, the lower track that goes around Cogra Moss. This goes all the way around three mile loop so yeah so you can continue up around there so that makes a nice little loop as well oh, I'm glad I managed to get down donkey trod I sprained my ankle quite bad on high pen that's so been really painful from high pen low pen and down the donkey trod not so bad now I'm on the flat Yeah. So now it's just a nice, probably about a mile, mile and a half back to the car. Along the lovely, beautiful Cogwell Moss. It's so peaceful here. You've got three or four fishermen still fishing. Just going around. There you are. On a good track all the way back to the car now. So there's Blake Fell. So yeah, you can see the route. We went on the far side, around that hill there, up onto the forest track, onto Shop Knot, onto Blake Fell. And that's Low Pen you can see there. And you come down through them trees. So I'm gonna say goodbye as we're nearly back at the car. We've got about half a mile to go. So it's been a great walk. So about five and a half miles, one way and right done, Blake fell. So did you enjoy that? I did. Very nice. So it's nice bye now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely day now. So as I say, I'll put um, I have map time at the end explaining where I've parked and the route. And I'll also try and put a GPX route up 
so you have that you can download onto your mobile device so if you like what you see please um, like and comment and also if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing as I make content every week usually so catch you all again on another adventure very soon bye for now Good afternoon and welcome to Mapping Scissor Time and this is a route for Blake Fell starting from Cogra Moss. Now this is a lovely private fishing lake um, well known for the locals for dog walkers as um, there is public access around this side of the lake and you can also stay on a lower path around here like that or you can continue up onto a higher track around here like this but we are actually going to head onto Blake Fell and Sharp Knot so you park here room for about 10 cars you can alternatively like I said in the video park further along the road um, I think, oh, this road here parking at Cor de Brow. you can park in laybys along here and you can walk along this side along here and then down this forest track and get to the higher path or you can continue on to low pen and high pen this is going to be our return route so yeah so you can park at Cor de Brow. but there's room for 10 cars here and it's more direct for Cogra Moss so you follow a good track you follow the public footpath signs across a road at first so up a lane across the road through a gate and onto this track and you can't miss it and you see Cogra Moss which is lovely um, do you really have to try and keep your dogs on the lead because there's fishermen that are fishing here so we entered through a gate and we followed a good track along the shores of Cogra Moss and then we headed away from Cogra Moss round about here to aim for a forest track here going along up here like this and then veering back left to head to the end of this forest track to get on to Sharp Knot there is a, an eroded steepish path up here it's 482 metres and a burkit and you get great views over to Scotland and the coast and Cogra Moss and you can access onto Blake Fell from here straight up, it's not that much further 573 metres onto the top of Blake Fell and that's the rain right you can see over to um, Lowe's Water over here and Grassmore, Whiteside, Pillar down to Buttermere and you can continue over to Gavel Fell. So you follow down the fence line to a gate. And if you want to do Gavel Fell, you go through the gate and still linear back to, from Gavel Fell. We didn't. We continued um, on the same side of the fence to High Pen and Low Pen. It's a nice ridge line. Great views over the forestry to Cogra Moss. And you head down, following the fence again to um, in between Merton, sorry, Knock Merton and Low Pen. There's a forest track which takes you to, there's a forest track here, this is the fence line, there's a forest track here to the donkey trod, which takes you down to Cogra Moss, so a good track, and you go back along the track all the way to Feldike Car Park. So it's about a five and a half mile route, I think, six mile route. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you all again on another adventure very soon. Bye for now.